Well, it's the next morning and putting pressure in the system worked. Started peeing brake fluid out of the caliper on the back passenger side. Okay, so I'm man enough to admit it, but I could not figure out how to open the fuel filler door on this car. I looked everywhere for a button, couldn't find one. I tried pushing and pulling and popping in all the different fuel filler door methods. Couldn't figure it out. Did a quick YouTube and Google search, couldn't find my answer. And then I remembered it had an owner's manual in it. Sure enough, if you're like me and didn't look at the door, it's under the armrest. So I'm looking down here. I was looking all through here, even looked over there, couldn't find it. Thanks to the owner's manual, now I can get some gas in this thing. All right, a couple of uh, discoveries. The CD changer works with the factory head unit, but it doesn't light up. The windshield washer fluid tank has a leak. from its hose back there, but I just put water in it since I wanted to see if it was gonna leak or not. So that's just water leaking down from the power steering fluid. I mean, not power steering, windshield washer. And then pulled the wheel and got in here to look at the brakes. And it looks like the leak is coming from the caliper itself. It's, uh, I wiped it all down up there and it didn't get wet up there. But down under here, I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. And it's leaking right from the caliper. So I've been letting it idle a little bit to test out the radio, the CD changer works, the uh, sunshade in the back window works, but it looks like the coolant's getting a little hot. And it doesn't look like the fan was kicking on, so definitely gonna have to figure that out. So when I was poking around under the hood, I found that it was cracked there, and then the mount for the grill is bent. So then I started looking down here and found that the hood release is bent in a little bit. And then this whole plastic piece was not even attached to anything. So this comes out and then you can look here and you can see that the frame rail down there looks fine. So I don't think there's any frame damage, but this bumper support is pushed in. And then that's right there where the crack is on the bumper. So it definitely did have a pretty good little impact up front. So I'm not sure. I ordered all the parts to do the brakes. I'm not sure yet. Um, I guess depending on how that goes, uh, I'll decide which parts I need off of the donor car. I have found a donor car. Uh, they want 150 bucks for the new trunk. And I think that's more than fair because that'll be cheaper than fixing the rust on this one. So I don't know. I feel like the, the parts list for the donor car just keeps adding up because the quote to have the seats reupholstered was just shy of $3,000. So that's kind of not feasible for one of these vehicles. And then I did get a good deal on the brakes. So we'll see. We'll see how much I'm into it. And then I'll decide how many parts to take off of the parts car. But at least once the brakes are done, it'll be safe enough and reliable enough. Hopefully. Once we figure out why it's getting hot, it started to overheat a little bit. Then we'll go from there. Well, I just did the first pass of the floor mats. 
they're still kind of multicolored, but got most of the obvious stuff out. So we'll see what kind of progress we can make. All right, so I made a second pass. So far, I've just been using some stain extractor, the drill brush, and the pressure washer. But they're definitely coming along. Too bad the rest of the inside of the car is still so filthy, so one of these days, we'll get to it. All right, so I was cleaning out the trunk. I found where the mice were living, but it looks like they've been evicted. There's no signs of them still being here. And uh, I found out that the disc changer does work. And I found this absolute banger right here. I don't know if that's focused or not. Zero King of the Ghetto. Zero versus the world. This goes hard. Alright, so just did an initial vacuum. No deep cleaning yet, but we'll get there. Found some dryer sheets in the trunk. Figured I'll throw them in here to help absorb some moisture and odor maybe while I'm still cleaning. Got the trunk all nice and clean. Well, mostly clean. 